Hey, what's up guys? Well, let's go back here and today we are going to be playing some Unholy Death Knight. Uh, I don't know why I chose to play this deck besides the fact I love... This is like... Where is she? This is like one of my favorite legendaries in the game. So, it makes sense that I want to play it. Um, same thing with this card. This card looks really, really cool. Another way to spend corpses. And like, this deck does generate a fair amount of them. So having... Even in the early game, if you have like just one 3-2 taunt, it's not the worst. But, I don't know, I could see this having a little bit of potential uh, in a deck like this. Um, besides that, I don't have much else to say, so how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes, right guys? Yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Uh, first matchup. I obviously want to keep Helio. The man looks pretty solid. I won't lie. Try this whole thing. This is uh, the sand looks actually really, really good. Man, I don't know why I'm so exhausted today. At all, it's really obnoxious. We have turned our curse into our strength. Ooh, even versus even. Man, this hero portrait looks so sick. I'm wondering, should I do a push to 500 wins with Death Knight? I think that could be really, really fun. I know I probably will not end up doing it, but. It seems like it could be fun to try and push for it over the summer. Oh, I can't wait for the summer. Two more days. Two more days till the summer comes. Oh, yeah, let's just do this here. Because I'm courting at Helia next turn. So... Especially if they survive. Yeah, okay. Now, once this dies, if he is Reno, he's no longer Reno, which is really good. Turn off big Reno, turn off small Reno, turn off Zephyrus. We know it's not Odin, uh, but I have a feeling it is Reno. It's probably that even Reno, even uh warrior list i played a couple days ago weeks ago on the channel when did i play it the one with boom yeah i played it like a week ago so it might be that in which case yeah if he's playing cards like man the cannon he's most likely reno and we just turned that off it was really really nice uh all right let's cycle both of these i know it's not the best but Both of those cards are pretty solid. I wanted to build up some amount of corpses, which I kind of been doing a little bit slowly this game, but with cards like these two, yeah, he's definitely Reno. There's no way you're playing cards like Minefield and Man the Cannons in a non uh, Reno deck. So one more damage here. Go up to six. And five. It's okay. Um, if these do flood the board, I mean, we'll eventually get back the. We'll we'll definitely be able to abuse the shit. Out of some of the cards we have. We have our two big corpse payoffs though. So. Before we get too much more into the video, I hope everybody's a beverage. Currently drinking myself a nice cold brewski. It's pretty good, uh, I won't lie. Man, I've been drinking so much beer from my restaurant lately. Um, I've just been getting, like, I, I was talking to, to my head chef, and we negotiated a deal for things like that. So, I've been getting a lot of it for, like, free. 
That was a worst case scenario. I hate this game. Uh, this on spell. Enchant that. Oh, he's also not Reno. This is second minefield. Put that on minion then. Spell might have been better. But there's no way he's committing a good spell knowing that spell is probably better, which is why I think I might actually have to get him with that. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, so we gave his entire turn. Not the worst, not the best. This is a really good draw here. I want to shoot him with Manda cannons, but I don't think that's right. I'm gonna hold on to it for another turn. Really like to to start drawing plagues though. That would be Gips keys. But from the looks of it, it's not happening anytime soon. It's insane that we have yet to actually squeeze out any damage onto him. He's just gaining so much armor. He's not Odin. I feel like he has to be Boom, right? Like that's the only real big. Maybe Dead Man's Hand, maybe. Could be dead man's hand. Skipper, it can't be skipper. It can't be the enraged skipper list. The uh, what's her name? Or Sun Commanders three. So it, does it have to just be dead man's hand? Unless it's just straight up control value warrior, which. That doesn't sit well with me, I'll be honest. This is a huge card. Play it next turn, though. Uh, trade... Trade the token in. Finally squeezing out some damage. Should have probably actually, instead of doing that, I should have traded both into this to protect us, but... If he's gonna be playing a Shield Shatter, he's playing a Shield Shatter which kills, which kills it either way. He's used a lot of removal already. Now I have Astalor in two turns. I'm gonna go ETC into Magda here. So it is Odin. Interesting. Actually, do I just have lethal? 12, 16, 21. Not quite. Oh, that's worrisome. Wars are not won without patience. What am I dead to? I could be dead here, which is why I am worried. Do this. I have a lot of flags. Okay. And I could be dead here. Could not be. I would have really liked for him to have hit a frost flag, but hey, beggars can't be choosers. Um. Cause yeah, I'm dead to like, we can't, we can't be playing a risky skipper combo, he's even. And we know his ETC card was Odin. So like, frozen bunker, frozen bunker, call to arms, kills me. Can't kill my 11 loader at least. Ah! That's pretty good. 
I need three damage. Two damage to stay alive. No, I have lethal anyways. He wipes my board, I still have lethal. I no longer have lethal. Put him to one, and he can't be Reno, so I think it's just worth it. It should put him to one if my math was correct. Yeah. He needs to draw a plague, he dies, he... Yeah. Okay. Woo, got there. Astalor being Astalor ain't fair, I'll be honest. Anyways, uh, let's uh, queue up the next one, right, guys? Yeah, I'll see you guys all up there. The Lich King. The Lich King. Oh my god. <laughs> Playing against another Death Knight? What, what are the odds? God damn, I don't know what the impact score means, but it's up to 100% of the time, though. <laughs> I have no idea if this was even correct, I'll be honest. Again, I don't know how good this card is. I just wanted to try it. It reminds me of something you'd seen Fallout, I feel. Uh, I've, been, I've been getting into... Okay, this might sound really, really weird. But one of the things I really like watching on YouTube is, like, full histories of, like, a game's timeline and shit. I know that there's spoilers in it, especially if they're games I'm going to play. I know that's, that's a fact. But, like, I've been watching it recently for Fallout. With the, the new Magic set that came out and whatnot. I've been interested in the lore and everything. So I've watched a couple of videos just, like, where they're breaking down, like, talk about all the vaults and the experiments that happened at the vaults and shit like that, right? And, like, I feel like I saw something really similar to this in, in there. I am riggedy fucked. I think I, I think I've lost this game. His start is so much better than mine. He's on the Pure Plague version. I'm on the more aggressive version and somehow he's come out of oh my god yeah i've lost this game this is really unfortunate but what can you do come on Three. i straight up don't know how i'm supposed to beat this He's been able to out-tempo me every single step of the way. The only way I can see myself potentially coming back is with getting a shitload of value out of Astalor. Or Marogar. But even then, it, it's not looking that promising, I'll be honest. Maybe if I draw my own Hell Yeah. Like, we're kind of back on the same-ish playing field, but... I have six plagues, so I'll only be at five... Here's if it's also going to come down to who starts drawing their plagues earlier, right? If Anybody? I start drawing mine starting next turn, I have a huge problem, but... Not a bad draw. See what this gives me. Four goals with Rush. That's actually not bad, but it doesn't fit on my board. So I think it's just the best one. Sucks that I have to overkill this, but... It really sucks that I have to overkill that. Okay. I need to draw Hell yeah. I need to draw Hell yeah real, real bad. I am lucky, though, that I hit double Blood Plague shuffled into his deck, because now if he is Reno, that's turned off. Let's see if I kill something. His was much better than mine was, which is a little problematic. Yeah, 
I don't even know, because I got this, which is actually a fair amount of value. Fuck. It's so bad for me. I don't know if he is Reno or not. I've yet to see a second copy of a card, but just knowing that now that's a fucking possibility is really, really bad for me. That is 10 times worse, though. That's so good for him. It also doesn't help to be fair that my draw this game... I hate to be... I hate to complain about draw, but my draw this game has been uh, far from optimal. He had the early game Helia. I really need to draw my Helia. It also is a good draw. Wish. Yes, it could have been worse, but he's not Reno, so no, no longer really matters. Um, do I just slam a Marogar here? I mean, what am I gonna draw? He definitely has bigger minions. So I'm gonna want to eat with Primus. The six, and so then they all get buffed. I should have one that's at three that continues to kill this. Death Knights typically have a hard time dealing with the board, especially when it seems like they're triple unholy. So unless he has his own Marogar here, uh, he could deal three to the board, which leaves me with my board pretty much still intact. He's already used one. He's used one of his hollow hounds. From where I'm standing, this looks like a pretty solid play. But I also admit, like, I could get fucked. Yeah, see, like, that fucks me. This card's no lo This was a blood card for the longest time. Yeah, like, see, I just got fucking hardcore fucked. Just while I'm jacking that. Sylvanas stealing is so good. I'm pretty darn far ahead right now, I'll be honest. Pretty fucking far ahead. I know I can't. Can any of you guys spell it? I. No fucking idea. <laughs> Jinjari. Z I N J A R Y. It's definitely wrong. Also, do you guys say Z or Z? I feel like saying Z is just weird. Am I tripping? It's Z. It should only ever be Z. Unless you're singing the alphabet song. I feel like when I'm singing the alphabet song. Or when I did. The fact that I won this game is absurd to me. His draw was far superior to mine. I guess, no, my late game draw. Because I had drawn all my late game in the early game, right? So, the fact that I still have to get value out of Sylvanas. I gotta play Marogar. Although his answer to Marogar is pretty darn good, I'll be honest. That game was still really, really close. I feel like it could have gone either way. If you had a slightly better answer to Marogar, it could have definitely gone either way. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, let's just skip the next one. Alright guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right. I want to keep this.
I need to try this card more. So I need I feel like I need to keep it. Although it's for us, it doesn't get much value in the early, early game. It gets more value in the mid to late game where you actually do summon the copy of it. Man, I love experimenting. I need to experiment more with the decks I play on the channel. I'm just really bad at deck building, so it's like one of those things I know. I want to play like shit to give him the win. I want to basically fuck a win trade. I fucking love this quest. This is my single favorite quest in the game. I remember when it first came out, I played the fuck out. Like, this was like the only deck I was playing was Taunt Warrior. With like the dinosaur and the dragon. Like, I fuck heavy with Sulphurus. It's really, really cool. Really cool win con. I want to protect this a little bit. Double Frostblade is huge. Again, in case it is Reno, turn that off. Okay. I would like to draw Helia in the next two turns, ideally. As soon as I draw Helia, it gets slammed and it's just like. I need to figure out a way to out heal the fucking eight damage a turn. Um, that already to kill him before that, which easier said than done. Actually, such a good card. Zero power. Let's Give me a minion. I can pop that. Take three. That's good. Again, I need to try and be as aggressive as possible. What are these exactly? There's three mana, two, four taunts. That's what this guy does? Oh, that's actually not that bad of a card, especially not for this quest. It gar it's three taunts in one. They're, they're, again, they're not the best stats for the mana, but that's still really good for the quest. Like, if you're getting more value than just their stats and taunt, that's pretty solid, I'll be honest. No. Yes. Are you? That wasn't quick draw. I got fucked. I actually got fucked. That wasn't quick draw. I'm tilted. Fuck that bullshit. I'm gonna go for spell here. Man, I need to draw Helia so fucking badly. I need to draw Helia, and then I need him to just draw all of his fucking plagues. Odds are pretty low, and he's at... Uh, 31 cards left in deck. Like the worst one to eat. I was hoping you would have thought I put it on. Um. I thought he would have thought I put it on the other one. Why can't I think of the name of it? Why is my brain lagging? Oh, I feel the board wipe. Feel the board wipe. Um. I thought he would have uh played a minion or played a. Um, Thought I would have put it on minion instead of spell. So I thought he would have just slammed uh, a pretty solid spell, like he just wiped my board or whatnot. As I need to outvalue him there. But so I thought he would have tried to prevent me from doing, uh, from allowing him his quest completion. Oh, he did want to avoid playing that though. That is that is a thing. This card feels like shit. Not gonna lie. I had high hopes for it, but now the more I play with it, the more I'm like, ah, eh. this card does not actually feel good. Oh, ship. Okay, if he has a board weapon hand, I'm, I lose the game. There's nothing in my deck I can draw to get me out of this. Except for maybe Helia, and he draws all of the plagues. And then draws a card, draws all of them again. It's like the only thing that comes to mind. Because even if it's a Reno. 
I feel like I'm in a, definitely in a rough spot. Oh, that's a card. How do I do five damage with the least amount of things dead? Are you serious? Not impressed. Oh. The fact that I lost the game to an RNG giant anaconda is really tilting. He used a card that RNG's two taunt minions to hit giant anaconda. And damage Stegatron? That is unlucky. If it was like any small dude, I had killed him here, which is like the worst part. It's Sulphurus, play Sulphurus, Hero Powers, shoots down one of my six fours. Can't win the game anymore. Yeah, he's in a pretty good spot. He's in a pretty good spot, I won't lie. That is an awful card in the position I'm at right now. I just go for it. I'm going for this. I mean, it's six things. There's only one thing that gets buffed, so I do get a trade into there. But I have a whole bunch of one ones which do nothing, right? At least that's why I can try to rebuild at least a little bit of enough of this to try to get actual value. Primus would be a good draw. ETC is a good draw. I don't can't beat what he's fucking doing is the problem. It's so much fun. His draw has been insane. Maybe I should have gone Marogar, but well, the fact he hit that. There's nothing I can do. I'm just dead. Fun. He gains too much health here to, for me to actually come back. If I would have drawn Primus off the top, I had a chance. Anything besides Primus, I did not have a chance, though. Also, has he even drawn a single plague this game? I don't think he has. I think he's legitimately drawn zero plagues, and he has even ten of them in his deck. Or eight of them in his deck. No, he has to have drawn a one. He would have had nine. No, two, two. Two, two. You yeah, know, he has yet to draw a single plague. Man. Couple really good top decks in my deck. All of me actually hitting them are pretty darn fucking low. It's not. That would have been a good top deck four or five turns ago. Right now it's awful. I have to put him back to full health. Fuck. It's fucking miserable. That's why I guarantee get something buff. But he's back at full health, so I can never actually beat him. The fact he was able to come back this hard is kind of absurd. Could I play this better? Maybe I could have played this better. I think he's a draw Primus. Because if, if at least if I draw Primus and he summons a big dude, I have the odds at winning where Primus does Primus things and say he summons a fucking taunt with like 15 health. Primus gives me 15 health. Now I have a little bit more health and a little bit more leeway to actually come back and win the game. It's the only card I could see that gives me that chance in the entire deck. Is that? 
maybe I could get lucky. Like, see, like, if I drop Primus now and I gain 12, like... Best hit, not even close. I need a top deck exactly, Primus. Or have him draw, like, 13 plagues in a row, fuck. It's not Primus. Hmm. I think this is the only card I actually have that gives me a chance. Get rid of six drop. Not the best six drop, I'll be honest. Blood? No. Thing is that right now I'm at one, is how I see it. If he hero powers and hits me in the face, I go to one. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen cards left in my deck. One of them is insane, one of them is meh, but probably too slow. Everything else is shit. It's kind of wild to, to see things like that, but it's definitely how this game is feeling right now. What's the one that's kind of meh? But I, the pros, I could still just fucking die here. It's not even really close. Are you serious? Are you? Fucking serious? There were four spells left in my deck. And when I said this card is okay, this card is not okay. There's no coming back now. There's no way for me to come back now. To be fair, he just pressed fear power and I die, but yeah. But still. I can't believe that's how I lost that game. It's a little bullshit, but hey, what can you do? I mean, hey. I'm not saying I played that game perfectly because I definitely didn't, but that game was tilting as fuck. <laughs> I feel like I could have potentially played it better though, but that, that's that's on me. Also, that game made me realize why this card is shit. The early game spending of corpses is not worth it when you have cards like Marogar that just use them so much fucking better. The little like honestly there should be like two or three corpses not five i think is really what it comes down to so i would i would probably remove this for the two drop that gives you coins there might even be some other decent two drops you could be playing but i really like the two drops like you could even be playing this maybe this is even better Yeah, no, that card just doesn't feel uh, doesn't feel great. I'll be honest. Thought I had potential, was mistaken. It is what it is. Live and learn. Even this might be just better because this is actually like it doesn't cost you shit, and you get three cops. But yes, the stat line's a little bit worse, but it doesn't cost you shit. So, okay. anyways, with that being said, I still love this deck. Like. Yeah, no, the deck is just really, really fun. It's really good. Would highly recommend it for everyone to try it. Um, 
Yeah, no, I don't have much much else to say besides the fact I hope you guys all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.